RTD is hard at work building our Denver metro region a world-class transportation system complete with trains and buses to take people to and from work. Denver International Airport, sporting events, entertainment venues, and neighborhoods throughout the metro area. The system will bring outlying communities like Arvada, Aurora, Thornton, Longmont, Lakewood, Lone Tree, and others a whole lot closer. This mammoth expansion of RTD's existing system, called Fast Tracks, will change the face of our region. So what have you heard about it? RTD's Fast Tracks program is the largest voter-approved transit expansion program being built in the entire United States today. It includes 122 miles of new rail lines, 18 miles of bus rapid transit service, 21,000 new parking spaces, which is more than double the existing parking, and at the center of it all, the complete redevelopment of historic Denver Union Station. Fast Tracks will connect communities and make our rapidly growing region easily accessible to all. Starting at Denver Union Station, Fast Tracks will be a hub and spoke system with lines that head in and out in all directions. Denver Union Station will serve as the center point, connecting light rail, commuter rail, bus services, taxis and shuttles. Denver feels like a really big small town and every small town really needs that sort of main street feeling um, and Lodo certainly can provide that and having um, having Denver Union Station be a transit hub is going to make it really easy for businesses to foster and for people to feel like they're part of the community even if they don't live here. The first rail line in construction is the West Corridor. Scheduled to open to the public in 2013, the West Corridor line will link downtown Denver with the western suburbs, ending at the Jefferson County Government Center. I live with the old streetcar that went to Golden and that was transportation you know, because we didn't have cars. We went to cars and now we've got light rail. And now if I want to go to Golden, I can hop on, <laughs> on the light rail and I'll get there. It's terrific. The East Corridor will connect downtown to Denver International Airport and transport passengers and DIA employees to and from Denver's state-of-the-art airport. Construction on this electric commuter rail line began in late 2010, and rapid progress will be visible from now until this line opens in 2016. The Gold Line will run from Denver Union Station out to Ward Road in Wheat Ridge. This commuter rail line will also serve Denver, Arvada, and Adams County. Construction is set to begin in 2011, and residents and businesses are already gearing up for its arrival. I think Old Town Arvada will change when the Gold Line's open because it, development will really happen down here. Um, people will realize that they can live in Arvada and take the train to Denver if they have to work down there, and it'll really just, it'll up development down here. US 36 is a bus rapid transit corridor. The first phase of the US 36 project was completed in May 2010 and is saving commuters traveling from Denver to Boulder a considerable amount of time since its opening. And this is just the beginning for the improvements on the US 36 corridor. The best thing that I've noticed about the US 36 improvement is definitely the Broomfield Park and Ride. Uh, the time that it took to exit the freeway and get back on the freeway with the bus making left and right hand turns in very heavy traffic, especially during peak hours, uh, that took a lot of time, it was very inefficient. So having the park and ride uh, be built here with, with freeway access for the buses has shaved at least 20 minutes off, off of the commute time in, in peak traffic. The Central Corridor Extension will connect the existing Central Light Rail line at 30th and Downing to the East Corridor line for easy access to the airport. The Central Corridor Extension will increase the ridership on our existing light rail system, providing transit options to more people. It's expected that there'll be 4,900 passengers per day riding transportation, and that will increase the number of passengers that go by businesses in the area, and with a higher quality uh, transportation options, it will give families opportunities to reduce their total transportation costs. But Fast Tracks doesn't stop there. The entire system is being built to connect you to the places you want to go. I-225 will connect the current light rail system, which ends at the nine-mile station near Parker Road, to the DIA commuter rail line. 
The 18-mile North Metro Corridor begins at Denver Union Station and will travel through Commerce City, North Glen, and Thornton to end near State Highway 7. Northwest Rail Corridor, the longest commuter rail line in fast tracks, will connect Denver to Boulder and then on to Longmont. And the existing southeast and southwest lines will be extended to provide key additional connections. As construction becomes more visible across the region, excitement continues to build for this comprehensive transit system that will carry our region into the future, offering transportation options and easy, reliable access for generations to come.